Hello guys, uh, today in this video we are going to discuss a simple experiment which can be done at home. So I'm just sharing the sketch of that uh, simple setup. So here is the setup you can see uh, clearly evident what we have done here. So we have a um, iron uh, core over here you can see that a solid solenoid kind of thing you can see so copper wire wounded over this see this um, copper wire is connected now to source of current right so now uh, as the number of turns you are you know wearing see uh, if you have a magnetic um, field probe where you can measure the magnetic field strength using a vernier um, sensor or something like that then you can change the number of turns on this uh, on this uh, iron uh, material you can say cylindrical shaped material right then you change the number of turns and then find uh, the strength of the magnetic field okay um, at, at any I mean at this end right so um, that is one thing and the second thing is here you can see in this um, setup I have taken some you know iron filings over here right so then you can see I mean as uh, for a particular set of number of turns and a certain value of uh, current flowing through this um, coil uh, what amount of iron filings, okay, the mass of the iron filings I'm saying, what amount of iron filings are getting collected over here, okay. So for a set of turns, like, you know, suppose you have 50 turns and you have some amount of current, constant current, okay. Suppose you are, you apply it, you connected it to 4 volt, then 6 volt and 10 volt, accordingly, you can see, like, you know, um, so you are wearing the potential over here, you are wearing the number of turns. So you can find what is the uh, strength of the magnetic field that is created at uh, this end using a using a magnetic field probe or a vernier probe, as I said. Or else you can just see, you know, what amount of uh, iron filings are getting collected here at this end. Okay, so that can be one uh, parameter that you can measure. And also you can vary the distance between, you know, distance between these iron filings kept and this. Okay, so for a particular value of uh, current or voltage that is given. Okay, now uh, what amount of uh, iron filings are getting collected here at one end, right? Just by varying the distance. So distance can also be one parameter. So a few things you can change, you can play with the voltage uh, or the potential difference that you gave. And the um, you know, current can be calculated from the number of turns and you can just measure the magnetic field. So that is one, um, I mean, magnetic field and the distance. So these are the parameters you can play with and um, do a uh, small investigation and uh, fix your uh, dependent independent variables and uh, do the analysis. Thank you.